Welcome to News Today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Annie Wilson, and here is the news for May 7th, 2024. Get ready for a brand new coaster. Universal Studios Hollywood has officially announced the name of the new Fast and Furious coaster, which will open in 2026. The coaster will officially be called Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift. Universal Studios Hollywood announced the news via their social media channels. In the announcement, Universal shared the following. Prepare for high speed thrills. Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift arrives at Universal Studios Hollywood in 2026. From groundbreaking technology to breathtaking immersion, this is a roller coaster like no other. The attraction is themed to the Fast and Furious film saga and will feature a state-of-the-art ride system that allows for 360-degree rotation for each individual ride vehicle. The ride experience is meant to mimic the feeling of drifting cars as riders wind through parts of the park. It will be Universal Studios Hollywood's first high-speed outdoor roller coaster. The queue, located on the upper lot of Universal Studios Hollywood, will be designed to look like a large brick garage. And fans of the Fast franchise will recognize the ride vehicles. They'll be modeled after actual cars featured in the films. The new coaster will open sometime in 2026. Now this is what people expect from a Fast and Furious ride. Obviously what Orlando has is not fast or furious. Um, Hollywood is you know, uh, they don't have a lot of attractions there, so I totally get that they're getting this big coaster. I'm a little jealous over here in Orlando. Hopefully we get something similar eventually, right? Now, let's take a quick look at the construction progress around the new Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift Coaster. On our most recent visit to Universal Studios Hollywood, we spotted some notable progress around the construction site. Approaching the construction walls on the upper lot, you can see a large platform with several pieces of track on top. On the sides of the platform, a few different track support beams have been added. On the right side of the platform, there are two track support beams of different sizes. A sound wall will be built comprised of acoustic block material, which is a state-of-the-art sound absorbing product. The wall will help reduce sound from the attraction from traveling into the nearby community. According to the documents, the entire track will be filled with pea gravel to minimize vehicle sound as well. Located in the middle of the park, the ride's entrance will be on the upper lot across from the Universal Plaza. The entrance will be at the former site of Animal Actors, with the coaster traveling up and down the hill between the two lots. The coaster will have two trains that can hold 16 people each, with ride vehicles that have 360-degree rotation. The latest Epic Universe announcements have arrived. Universal Orlando Resort has officially announced details for Super Nintendo World at Epic Universe. This will be the third version of Super Nintendo World following Universal Studios Japan and Universal Studios Hollywood. The Florida version will include the original attractions from Universal Studios Japan as well as the Donkey Kong Country expansion. Guests will enter through a portal from Celestial Park. This is a decked out version of the green warp pipe entrance at Universal Studios Hollywood and Universal Studios Japan in keeping with the Epic Universe portal theming. Also unique to this entrance is that guests will take an escalator up to the land. The main attraction of Super Nintendo World at Epic Universe will be Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. It will be located in the section of the land entitled Super Mario Land. Guests will wind their way through Bowser's castle and join Team Mario on the racetrack to defeat Team Bowser in this interactive ride inspired by the beloved game series. Just like the game, riders will collect coins, throw shells, and drive through courses underwater and in the clouds. This attraction utilizes special AR goggles to bring the world and their fellow racers to life. Guests simply need to look at their target and press the button on the steering to toss a shell. Orlando will host the first Yoshi's Adventure attraction in North America. On this family-focused ride, you'll hop onto a Yoshi and embark on a search for glowing eggs. On Minecart Madness, the Tiki Tak tribe has come to steal the golden banana. To protect it, guests will join Donkey Kong and his friends on a high-energy minecart ride. This roller coaster uses an all-new ride system developed in-house by Universal Creative that recreates the maneuvers of the minecarts from the Donkey Kong Country video game series. In addition to the area's main attraction, a selection of tropical menu and merchandise offerings will also be available in Donkey Kong Country. More details on these will be shared in the coming months. The key challenges of Super Nintendo World completed using power-up bands are essentially a self-guided attraction. 
at these interactive experiences throughout the land, guests will test their quickness, skills, and timing in various challenges, which include Thwomp Panel Panic, Goomba Crazy Crank, Piranha Plant Nap Mishap, Koopa Troopa Power Punch, and the Babam Kaboom Room, which is the first in North America. For each challenge guests win, they will receive a digital key. After collecting three keys with a power-up band, guests can take on the Bowser Jr. Shadow Showdown, where they'll face off with Bowser Jr. to win back the Golden Mushroom. In the Super Mario Land section, guests will be able to meet Super Mario characters, including Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, and Toad. Guests who have a power-up band will get an enhanced experience when meeting those characters. At Toadstool Cafe, guests can enjoy dishes inspired by the world of Super Mario and its characters. Dishes will include Mario and Luigi themed burgers, Super Mushroom Soup, Piranha Plant Caprese, Fire Flower Spaghetti and Meatballs, and more. Guests will also get to see several Toads and Chef Toad himself cooking up their meals in the kitchen through virtual windows throughout the restaurant. Yoshi Snack Island and Turbo Boost Treats are walk-up dining locations where guests can grab treats, snacks, and beverages to fuel up as they play. At the 1UP Factory and Mario Motors, guests can shop for Super Nintendo World souvenirs, apparel, toys, and more inspired by their favorite Super Mario characters. Epic Universe will open in 2025. Another version of Super Nintendo World is also under construction at Universal Studios Singapore. Universal Orlando Resort has also revealed the height requirements for the attractions that will be part of Super Nintendo World at Epic Universe. Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge is a 3D, 4D experience with motion simulation. The minimum height requirement is 42 inches or 107 centimeters. Yoshi's Adventure is a kid-friendly attraction that will take guests of all ages on a winding and weaving trip through the Mushroom Kingdom. The minimum height requirement is 36 inches or 92 centimeters. Minecart Madness is a thrill attraction where guests will join Donkey Kong to protect the golden banana. The minimum height requirement for this attraction is the same as Yoshi's Adventure, 36 inches or 92 centimeters. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, BR Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with BR Guest Vacations and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. The best part is their concierge services are 100% free. Head over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT and the team will design your next epic vacation from Universal Parks to Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts, Disney Cruise Line, Virgin Voyages, Royal Caribbean, and more. The exclusive Visa Lounge at Universal Studios Florida is now open to select cardholders. The Visa Lounge is located at the front of the park across from guest services. It is exclusive to Universal Rewards plus Visa Signature cardholders. The entrance can be spotted by its blue and yellow awning. The lounge is open 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Once inside, the first thing we noticed was how cold the air conditioning was. Perfect for a break during a summer day at Universal Orlando. At the entrance, guests will be met with a team member. Each card holder can bring three additional guests with them into the lounge. The design overall is clean and modern. The seating areas are all nicely separated so that different parties can take up their own sections. A high countertop is tucked into a nook with both regular outlets and USB outlets, perfect if you have to get some work done. Along the back wall is a television and a refreshment area with two mini refrigerators stocked with complimentary water bottles and snacks. Guests with their own reusable water bottles also have the option to fill up using the water refill station. The Visa Lounge also has its own family restroom. The primary universal theming in the Visa Lounge comes by the way of black and white photographs of universal attractions past and present. This first one is the Hollywood Backlot set. We also have photos for Captain Jake's Amity Boat Tours, Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast, Monsters Cafe, and the Institute of Future Technology Marquee from Back to the Future The Ride. The Visa Lounge is exclusive for those with the Universal Visa Signature Plus card, which is the card with the annual fee. If you're considering applying for the card, you can do it in the parks. There are desks to apply for the card, and there are additional benefits for applying in the park. One of the highlights of a visit to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is using a wand to cast spells. This magical experience allows wizards, witches, and even muggles to try their hand at magic at the Universal Orlando Resort. 
Rumors suggest that new interactive wands will debut ahead of Epic Universe and new spells will be added around the current parks. Over the last few months, we've noticed changes around the different spell locations that indicate this rumor could be true. The spells around Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade have been getting upgraded cameras over the last few months. Whenever a spell was having a new infrared camera installed, the window would have a sign or it would be blocked by construction walls. Outside of Dervish and Bangs, the Owl Post window has been blocked by construction walls for the last few weeks. This was not a spell location, but it was blocked off like some of the spells have been during their upgrades. This window was best known for having the Howler, and you can often hear it yelling through the window. The walls were removed from the window, showing that the display has changed slightly. Looking closer, it appears this window could be getting prepped for a new spell. The center of the window has a brown paper wrapped box with a perfect hole removed from it. This looks like it could be a location for a camera for a new spell. Upon closer inspection, it looks like the box has plenty of room inside to mount a camera. The window display has changed and there does appear to be a few spots that could have new effects. The bottom of the window display has a large piece of paper that looks like it will have writing magically appear on it. This could be part of a spell, or it could just be a new effect added to the Owl Post window. The camera upgrades will greatly improve guests' ability to cast spells, but there are rumors that there are other reasons for the change. New wands that can connect to the Universal Orlando app are rumored to roll out sometime before Epic Universe opens next year. Universal has connected gameplay for Illumination, VillainCon Minion Blast, and guests can sync their blaster to their profile on the Universal Orlando app. Guests of Super Nintendo World can link a power-up band to the app to collect coins and track their progress. These new interactive wands could likely be similar to power-up bands and allow guests to link to the Universal Orlando app. The new wands could be used to track guest progress with spells and allow them to unlock new features. Old wands would still work with the spells, but would not allow guests to connect and access new features within the resort app. New wands would be required to track progress through the Universal Connected Gameplay feature. Universal Orlando was greatly discounting interactive wands during the garage sale last year. Interactive wands were being sold at 70% off. Now, Universal Orlando is offering a free interactive wand with the purchase of a $300 merchandise gift card. Universal Orlando may be slowly getting rid of the current stock of Wizarding World wands in anticipation of rolling out a new series of wands in the future. Details have not been released for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic yet, so there's a chance more details on these wands will come soon. Universal Orlando Resort is gearing up for an incredible summer full of new experiences, including a new tribute store. Details in the Mardi Gras tribute store hinted that the summer tribute store would be full of movies and possibly themed to mega video rentals. The Summer Tribute Store will tie in with the new Universal Mega Movie Parade and will celebrate several different movies. There are no signs of the new Tribute Store facade, but there are some teasers in the window. There's a familiar face peeking out of the window on the right side of Studio Styles. Earl the Squirrel has arrived. Earl is an icon here at the Universal Orlando Resort based on a real squirrel. Years ago, a squirrel would mess with the Christmas lights on the tree at Universal Studios Florida. Eventually, Universal Orlando embraced the story of Earl the Squirrel and would hide a fake squirrel in the Christmas tree every year. Even though Earl the Squirrel is typically associated with the Christmas season, he does like to hide in, or take over, the tribute store. Another window near the Williams of Hollywood entrance has another teaser for the movie-themed tribute store. There is a stack of VHS tapes in the Williams of Hollywood window, keeping with the video rental store theme. It looks like Earl has been messing with the VHS tapes, though. Full details have not been announced yet, but the Summer Tribute Store is expected to feature movies like Ghostbusters, Jaws, and Back to the Future. Universal Orlando Resort has a lot happening this summer, so be sure to stay tuned for all the updates. Complimentary UAP buttons have returned to Universal Orlando Resort, with the first celebrating 25 years of Universal Islands of Adventure. The button is available as part of pass holder bonus benefits this month. Universal Orlando annual pass holders can pick up the button at Five and Dime in Universal Studios Florida or from the UOAP lounge in Toon Lagoon at Islands of Adventure. The pink button reads Partying Since 1999. Universal Islands of Adventure opened on May 28, 1999. The button features a 90s inspired pattern of zigzags and stars with a yellow triangle behind the words. 
The pin comes on a pink UOAP card with a happy 25th birthday Universal Islands of Adventure message on the back. Along with the button, pass holders can enjoy other benefits like an exclusive park entrance at Islands of Adventure now through May 24th. Universal Orlando Resort is now accepting auditions from the general public for Halloween Horror Nights 33. The audition posting is for scare actors, stilt walkers, and puppeteers. The submission deadline is midnight on May 31st, 2024. Interested candidates must have full availability for HHN 33 dates. The posting doesn't list rehearsal dates, but the internal auditions posting stated rehearsals would be between August 1st and the 29th. Halloween Horror Nights opening night is August 30th and will run through November 3rd. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. A special shout out to all the WIGS members watching who make this show happen every week. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to universalparksnewstoday.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Universal Parks News Today on YouTube for more great content, click the bell for notifications, and make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of News Today with Universal Parks News Today. For UPNT, this is Annie Wilson saying, the future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one.